hello hello so today we're gonna look into um using our cape cut uh scrapbooking stamp and thin cut set so i already run this is the set which has some beautiful really nicely um detailed um dice and here so one is for the little seahorse the crab and then our coral but it also has some really cute um phrases in here so i really like that set and i did a whole bunch of um die cutting already as you can see here and i kept my pieces uh where i cut my uh crap and all these things out because i use them to line up my pieces later for stamping so i already checked and lined them up and what i do is i just put a piece of scrap paper underneath and then make sure it's in the corner tucked away here and then i line up my stamp so i see that the stamp impression is really nice and you can see actually here and this is just some copy paper how nicely all this shading is of these um, elements so we will see and uh, all i do is i just pop them in here and right now i'm gonna stamp everything in periwinkle so i have to ink up our pieces we're just having a downpour here and some storms growing through i hope it's not gonna be too bad and i hope i don't lose power so we will see all right these are in place and then we just keep holding down for a second we lift them up and see how we're done all right all right so the ink was still a little bit splotch blotchy because I just um, started stamping with these let me give them a little bit more seasoning just a few more times here since they're brand new um, seasoning meaning you just ink them up a couple times you use your stamp chamois to clean them I sometimes rub them against my skin just to take the residue oil and other things off that happen during the process of making these stems so you can just use your hand a little bit here just making sure it's dry and then we go again and let's just try these again making sure my it's tucked in the corner here and making sure we're inking them up well have it so this one is a little bit darker so periwinkle normally is not that dark but since I stamped it twice um, you will get a little bit darker impression here and let me push this back in the corner here you can also put a, I put a little bit adhesive underneath here that way you know it sticks to the corner and doesn't move on you but can you see how pretty they are I just love these so let's do another one let's try a different ink color this time let's go with glacier and i always cut a whole bunch of these things out that way i don't have to you know put the machine bag out and everything so just i have a couple and i ink them up in different colors and that usually works so here's another one here's our crap and there's our little seahorse Try the blue ones. 
more. And I do this with all my um, images. So I have one where the coral is in. I just have to line up, but for now I'm just going to work with these two. see the shading is really nice and they all turn out a little bit different and you can play around I mean you can um, use an ink dauber if you wanted to to um, let's clean this up use the glacier ink This turns out. Ooh, and I like this too. So this one needs a little bit more ink. So I'm gonna push this back. I right. so I'm just using the corners a little bit. a little bit of blue on the inside so I really really like these and one more if you're doing a tone on tone let's clean them first get the green off and I'm gonna ink them up all the way in blue again take my toffee ink and do the same thing. I'm just going around the edges a little bit. So this way you can play with a lot of different colors. I'm sure we have to ink up the yeah I'm gonna ink up the toffee a little bit more but I do like the blue and the toffee here too. It's just so pretty. So I'm trying to avoid the middle part. I'm just going over the edges here a little bit. Try this one more time. Ooh, look at that. That looks like a crab. <laughs> and here's our little seahorse. So you can play around and do a lot of different colors, all depending on, we can even do a tone on tone. Let's use the blue here. And get up in the periwinkle. What's coming out of this one? Okay, now we need a little bit more blue on here.
you just have to let them dry because they're gonna dry a little bit darker a uh, lighter sorry lighter once they're completely dry and we're gonna do the glacier That's a tone on tone and you can use the darker or the lighter side depending on what you prefer I use the darker side here but you still will see that the ink still comes through and this one needs the end of the little seahorse didn't get stamped all the way so let's do that one again So here we are now and I am just stamping now a couple of those corals and in this case I just have the one here, it's that same system, keeps them nice in place and don't they look gorgeous? So I'm gonna do a couple of the colored ones too so you can see how those look like on tone so pretty okay now let's move to the glacier You see it goes relatively fast once you have them in position it makes it really easy to stamp but you can do this without a stamp positioner so i like my misty because i do a lot of pre-stamping for classes and that's always easier when you have a stamp positioner where i can run like 30 stem phrases or something through without having to worry about not getting a good impression if I only have to do one I don't have a problem but if you have to do a lot see this is the glacier color and now let's try our toffee see all the details in there and it's amazing so let's do another one and maybe this time we also put on a little bit of the mocha just on the bottom and see how this looks like toned mocha you can also stamp the entire one in toffee ink on a blue background you have so many options with this okay so in in the event you don't have a stamp position I like the misty so I'm just gonna use our periwinkle ink here and I have put my stamp on the block and I'm just gonna ink it up a couple times 
and you want to just go back and forth a few times make sure it's nicely inked and then let's start with the blue one so I'm just gonna line it up hold it down for a couple seconds so the ink can absorb into the paper and then you pull it off and voila there's your little seahorse and as you can see I used my Versa mat I just flipped it over because that's a nice squishy surface which is perfect for stamping okay now let's do it on the white and a nice thing with our clear stamps you can see through so you can make sure that you have a nice even spacing around and if it's easier for you just stand up look at this isn't that pretty okay one more and this time I stamp it on the green here or not the green the glacier and same thing we're lining it up holding it down for a couple of seconds and here we go and one more crabby so let's ink up the crab nicely and you can see do not ink everywhere and then do the same thing line it up push down so the only drawback with this is if you really miss a spot and um, you want to go back you really have to carefully line it up it is possible but you need to practice a little bit and if you only miss a little bit somewhere do not re-ink just try to line it back up and then um, go over it again you don't need extra ink so here's our other one so you see you have different possibilities how to um, stamp and thin cut some people like to stamp first and then thin cut if i do a lot it's just for me um takes too much time because then i have to line the die up, make sure it stays in position, and that's for each of my stamping um, pieces. It's a little bit too much work, so I like to do it the other way around. I just run through a couple um, rounds of the dies. I don't know how many I need. Um, if I have extra, I just pop them in here with um, the stamp set. So next time I do something, there are already some in here and um, that just makes it easier for me. So if you like this set, this is actually just back in stock. So make sure to order yours because I'm sure it's gonna sell out. This is just too pretty to not have in your stash. The same as with our card making workshop. So this one is back as well. And um, this is just a nice set exclusive to the stamp working uh, workshop, um, the Cape Cut card making workshop and um, it's got these five dies which are gorgeous too and we have used them on some of the cards already and then um, you have these background stamps there super nice too and actually a couple of phrases so here are actually oh these are the ones that I cut with the machine but um, these are from the so if you have the digital collection from Cape Cod this is what you can cut out with the machine too and then this one is your dice through the hand crank machine. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. If you haven't already done so, uh, subscribe to my channel. And that way um, YouTube knows that you like the content of my videos and will show you more of them. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned, more to come and see you next week. Bye-bye.